my hacking video was one of my most popular videos. And since my sister's approaching the age that I was when I did that video, I thought that I'd show her how I hacked my dad's computer and teach her a bit more. And since I was doing that anyways, I thought I'd film it and bring you guys along with us as well. We've just ordered my sister's new Raspberry Pi and it's coming tomorrow, so we're going to go pick that up tomorrow. And um, so later on in this video, we'll be discussing quite a few various options for your Raspberry Pi and your Raspberry Pi setup, from a very low budget option, which is something that we would probably have gone for, to a more higher, um, higher budget option. We're about to go get my Raspberry Pi. There we go. <laughs> a little booklet um, this looks like my case black case black. Um, this looks like an HDMI um, adapter battery and this it looks I think that, that looks like it might be the same I'm not sure I'll have to check it out um, is this for um, power source power source this is a little fan, as you can see. It's from Spoon, get a piece. This um, is a... It looks like um, a, card a card reader, yeah. Um, this is... Um, it's an SD card. Um, this... What's this? It looks like a heat sink. This is a screwdriver. I just wanted to say I'm not sponsored or anything, but this is just how everything turned out. So I ended up getting this Labist starter kit for Raspberry Pi, which at the moment, sorry, is £90 on Amazon. But if you want to follow along, don't be scared away, because you can get something like this, which is a Raspberry Pi Zero, and this is under £10. And then the rest of the stuff you um, will have to beg for and steal. But this is the main part of the computer that you'd, well, the setup that you need. And the reason we ended up getting um, this was because on Amazon, on Prime Day, it was 60 quid, sorry, 60 pounds. This was a Raspberry Pi um, 4, and it was 4 gig, and you got all the other stuff included, um, and it was a really great, great deal. If you want to follow along, what are your options? Well, this is a Raspberry Pi that I have, and this is almost as old as my sister. And so, if you already have a Raspberry Pi, then you're sorted. And um, the next option is this Raspberry Pi Zero. And these ones can do everything that these ones can do. You know, you can light LEDs, you can, you know, mess around on the shell and everything. And they also take up less power. But the drawback of this is that they are slower. So, if you want to use it as a desktop um, computer, if you wanted to, you know, move graphics around and surf the internet, then this is probably the one that you're going to want to go for. Now, at the moment, the latest Raspberry Pi is a Raspberry Pi 4, so I know obviously this video is going to date, so just look at the new stuff, you know, what Raspberry Pi has come out, is there any better ones? But this is the one that's, you know, latest at the moment. And I've got the 4GB RAM, it comes in 2GB, 4GB and 8GB. Now, I'd say 4GB is, is about the sweet spot. But originally we were going to get two gigabytes and that's what we had in our basket on Pimerendi and that was only, well, that was £33 um, until we saw this great deal and we ended up getting a four gigabyte one. Just a quick note on the Pi Zeros. If you get one now, then they will have wireless network. But if you wanted to use wired network, then there's nowhere to plug it in. Whereas on these ones, of course, there is somewhere to plug it in. And so we had to buy this little gizmo. So obviously you just plug it in here. Like, just like that. 
So on this one, it has somewhere to plug in our wired network, which is really useful. And then this one also has three old style USB um, ports here. And this is just our network, which you probably won't need now. But then you can just plug like your mouse or something in. Lastly, um, of course, just to note, this um, is in a, in a case, but you can get these Raspberry Pi Zeros cheaper if you don't have this header on. And so you just have to buy them and solder them on like we've done here which is a good idea if you want to save even more money, which is what we did. If you're going to go for the Pi Zero option and you want wireless, then go for the Pi Zero W. And if you want this header thing on it, then go for the Pi Zero WH. Um, the H just meaning for the header and the W wireless. So you've picked your Pi, an old one, a new one, a zero. The next thing you need is an SD card. Currently, they take micro SD cards. Now, they need to have some form of software on them. Now, you can get them with the software already on them. You can buy them with the software on and look for Noobs, N-O-O-B-S, or Raspbian. Now, you can get them cheaper without the software on, um, and then you can get the SD card from anywhere. But then, of course, you'd have to put the software on yourself. But we will do a video showing you guys how to do that. You're going to need a power cable like the one on the left here. At the moment, currently, they take USB-Cs, um, the Raspberry Pis do, but we'll cover um, it in more detail in the next video. You'll also need a mouse, keyboard and monitor unless you want to go headless. Headless is when you control your Raspberry Pi from another computer or tablet. And we've got a video showing you guys how you can do this. Lastly, you'll need a cable um, like this one here to connect your Raspberry Pi to your monitor. And we cover that in detail in our next video. In the next video, we'll show you guys how to set this all up. We really hope you liked this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye! Bye.